few days ago, I got a request to make tutorials on a bunch of the Meteor style or Superman style things that I do. Um, so I figured I'd have a go at doing some tutorials on them. Which yeah, hopefully is going to go well. So some of you will be familiar with this stole chasey move. Pretty much a slow chaser as a weave. Uh, your right hand is starting off uh, spinning in the direction that you want to weave, and then so slowing down, um, and you're following the head on its whole arc on the way down. Uh, then on the other side, it slows down, flips back, and then you're pulling it up. Um, so essentially, you're slowing down uh, by following the head. On the way out, your head is following your hand. Um, so you can probably think of it uh, like like a conventional stall chaser. So like doing one of these, um, but you're doing just the first half of it, um, starting with your right hand. Familiar with doing a slow chaser with your arms crossed. This is the position that we use to get across. Um, so you're starting at this arc. So, so you're leading with your right hand, pulling your left hand over, and then you'll be on this side. Um, and then you do the exact same thing, but leading with your left hand, pulling your right hand over. And then just repeating the process. Now, for this to translate to one hand, uh, you need to be holding them both in one hand um, and using two points of control. So, for me, I'm using uh, one poi coming out the base uh, palm of my hand between my thumb and forefinger, and the other poi coming out the back of my hand between my index and middle finger. And I'm using my poi that's coming out between my index and middle finger to lead with. Um, so starting from this position, using that poi to be the leading poi in the slow chaser. And that'll get you over to the other side. important to note that the poi you're leading with will always swing on the outside of the other poi. So it's outside and then on the outside on this side as well. Yeah, otherwise they'll hit together and tangle up. So applications of this. Um, if you know your superman, you can use this slow chaser to have the other bouncing in the superman. So if you do the slow chaser once, then the other poi will be bouncing in your superman and your hand will be like twisted around a little bit. Um, if you do this again on the other side, you get back to your original position. Um, you can also do it on that side to twist your hand that way. Um, so twist your hand clockwise from where you were. And do it on your right side, 
interest at 10 score squares. It's also just a, a fun way to break up one hand movement so it's not always a superman bouncing 